Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one going to show you how to make a dream effect or a hazy effect. Some could say it's like a druggy tripping effect, maybe it's an alcohol effect. Basically, it's blurry and fuzzy and it has a little bit of an echo and that's basically what it, we're going for here. So how do we make this effect? Well, let me show you what we got first. This is what it looks like and that's on the top track. So let's go ahead and delete that and start from scratch. So here we go. We've got some footage with nothing applied to it. The next step is we want to go to our effects panel, type in the word echo like I've done here. When you do that, you'll see video effects time echo. Drag and drop the echo effect on top. When you do that, you'll see that it's gotten brighter and it's made a very small adjustment, but which we're going to go in now and make some changes to. The next step, making sure you're selected on the footage, go to your effect controls panel. And underneath that, you're going to see the echo effect has been applied. Now it applies some default starting parameters. And what you want to do is instead of the default 0 0.033, let's just go ahead and move that up to positive. Let's go a little over the top, positive 0.367. When I do that, I'm going to move it back to the beginning, hit space bar. And presto, we've got that druggy, trippy, hallucinatory, dreamy effect. Now, you can increase or decrease the strength of this echo. So if you really want some crazy action, you want to like jack it up like that, go ahead and do it. It'll look a little funny. So you've got a major um, dreamy effect there. But again, these this is the parameter that you can adjust to do that. That is echo time. <clears throat> the other thing you may want to consider is you'll notice that when we applied the effect, when I turn it off, it's darker footage. When I apply it, it brightens it up considerably. So what you can do is you can reduce these intensity. So I would go with like, let's say 0.5. Okay, maybe a little more 0.6, something like that. So this if the footage is too bright with the application of the echo effect, you can go ahead and adjust it just like that. That's all there is to it to making that effect. Thanks for watching guys, ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.